if, if God created Adam and Eve and they had Cain and Abel with who, that should be with whom, exactly did Cain and Abel create children with? In other words, how did Adam and Eve's kids have kids? Whoa. <laughs> well, that just I, I, blow I your mind. I didn't get it. Father. I didn't get it. How did Adam and Eve have kids? No, how did their like, kids have If they had Cain and Abel right. and, oh, and no, I get and it. no okay. girls. Okay. You know what? That's a good, that's a good question. <laughs> it's a great question. You know what? I think I'm going to have to call the Pope on this one. Uh-oh. Um, are you doubting your you faith now? You are. We go to the Pope line. Lifeline. <laughs> you know, there is a... There's a <laughs> <laughs> this is an okay, embarrassing right. moment for me. This is a tough moment. This is a tough question. That's a serious biblical sure, question. Absolutely. I should be able to answer absolutely. it like this. Come on. The fact is that, you know, we don't know exactly how things happened. You know, it's like, um, did, Adam, did uh, Adam have a belly button? Mm. You know, that's a whole other question. Sure. I, yeah, I don't know, quite honestly. But what we do know is that um, from individuals who decided that they did or did not want to follow the will of God came the rest of us. And Adam and Eve decided, you know what, we're not going to follow God. And we're, we, we want to do things our own way. And that's what we do so often in our lives. And I think the great lesson here is not whether or not Adam and Eve had belly buttons and not whether exactly how it all happened, you know, but rather, what can we learn? What can we learn? <laughs> you guys are laughing because you're like, you're not answering well, the question. You are so avoiding the question. It's very personal because Andy Lee was not born with, was born without a belly button. All right, I got I to gotta, I gotta move on. Oh, I want to get to some news that actually involves.